up real high if you want to hear the donut story. You liars. You guys are lying. Right. Who doesn't want to hear the donut story? <laughs> okay. This is for you, baby. We were recording an episode of the original Full Metal series. Hi, cutie. I thought that was you. Good to see you. Um, we were recording one of the original episodes where the other brothers, Elric, the, the two brothers that were pretending to be the Elric brothers, remember that? Yes. Russell Tringham and Russell and Fletcher. Um, and they were pretending to be the, the Elric brothers, and then Edward shows up and there's this fight, remember that? And Russell punches Ed in the face, and the next scene, Ed's got this cute little puffy face where he got hit. And, um, and as soon as I saw his face with the swelling, I thought, oh, I should put something in my mouth. And it'll make it sound like I got a swelled up face. Because it probably would affect your speech if you, if you were kind of, you know what I mean? You wouldn't be able to hear the difference. So I said to Colleen Clinkenbeard, who was directing, I'm like, Colleen, can I have five minutes? I'm going to go find some, something to stick in my mouth. And she goes, well, that sounds pretty weird, but go ahead. So I went, to the, I went to the vending machine, and I was looking for just the right thing, you know? And cookies, yeah, that would do it, but they're kind of hard, you know? And, and then, like, Doritos, no, that won't work at all. And then, like, Lifesavers, no, they're too small. So then I found the perfect, perfect food. Those little powdered sugar donuts. Look, they're like this big. They fit right in your cheek perfectly, and they're soft and puffy, right? So I thought this is gonna be perfect. I don't wanna eat them, I just wanna stick them in there, and, you know, make that, make that sound a little bit. So I fought them and I ran back to the studio and I was so excited, this is the best idea I've had all day, right? So I, I, I went in there and I threw one in my mouth and I'm like, all right, let's go, let's do it. So we start recording. I don't remember what Ed's first line was. I think actually he was leaning against Al and he's like, oh, you're, the meadow feels so, you know, cool and cold, on like an ice pack, right, thank you. Um, so I did it, and I was like, ooh, that sounded good. And Colleen was like, ooh, that sounded good. So then what you don't know is, after you record a line, you wait. You wait while the engineer slips the line around to make sure that it matches the flaps, and then kind of locks it in and saves, and you know, little things he does. So you're, sit you're standing in the booth, like for, you know, 20, 30 seconds, maybe a minute, before you go to the next line. Well, I'm standing in the booth with this powdered sugar donut in my, stuck in my cheek. <laughs> and it, they're not meant to hold in your mouth. They're meant to eat and swallow. And I, and, and the donut just started like falling apart, you know? And it was starting, it started to get gross. I mean, it was like, like the, the donut juice was like, oh, it was dripping out of my mouth. And I was like, man, if I try to do another line like this, I'm gonna be in bad trouble. Like, it was spitting and everything, little piece of donut all over the place. And so I spit it out. And there was a trash can and I was, oh. Well, the problem is that as soon as I saw his little puffy face, all I thought was, let's change my, my voice to do the recording. I didn't know how long he was going to be like that. <laughs> for all I knew, it was like one or two lines, right? Uh-uh. He's got it for a little while. So we had like, I don't even remember, like 10 or 15 lines where he had to record. So I'm not, well, we'd already recorded the first couple, so you can't go back now. So what do I do? Take donut number two and stick it in there and start all over again. And there were six donuts in the back, and we used all of them oh. to record that. And at the end, I was like... Oh, I'm gonna go throw up. I'll be right back. And it was so I was like totally turned off to donuts for a long time. Even now, like if I go into a into a uh, convenience store and I want to like it's like morning, maybe I'm on my way to the studio and I'm gonna get a cup of coffee and maybe something you know to eat with the coffee. I'll go up and I'll see the donuts and I'll be like powdered sugar donuts and. Chocolate covered donuts. Ugh, chocolate covered, chocolate covered. I, uh, I stay away from the powdered sugar donuts. So. Yes, we are. Um, what's your go-to karaoke song? Oh. 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 
You win this button, girl. Come here. Do you want it? Yeah. Okay, I mean, like, I don't care. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Thank you. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah, that's a great question. You know what? I ask that people, I ask people that question all the time. When people, when you say to somebody, you know, do you, what kind of stuff do you sing? What kind of stuff do you like to sing? When somebody says, I'm a singer, you go, oh, what do you like to sing? And they start him hawing around, I ask them that question. I'm like, you get to sing one song, what is it? Immediately pick the first thing that comes to your mind. For me, uh, it would be probably, it would either be uh, like a journey tune. Oh my goodness, hold on. Hold on, that was important. I thought that was important. I have to check. This is the one that just sold on eBay. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I have an iPhone 4, and this is the 4S, and so I was going to put my 4 on eBay. And then I thought, you know what? Not only am I going to put it on eBay, but I'm going to put this, I'm going to sell this case. Now, what's special about this case, you guys, is that I made this from a picture that is a one of a kind drawing from the original manga artist, the original creator of Full Metal Alchemist, Hiromo Arakawa, in Japan, she drew this for me, just for me, and sent it to me as a present. And I scanned it and made an, a phone case out of it. So um, this is the only one in the world, and I put it on the iPhone. I, it, I'm just gonna be, I'm still holding on to it, but the, uh, the eBay auction just ended, and uh, somebody got the phone, and I'm gonna send them the phone and the case. So my case is going away. Um, hold on one second. Oh, um, it would probably Sarah be Journey, or you know what? I go to '80s. I go to the '80s. I that's my era. That, you know what the '80s were for me? That was when I discovered I could write music and play the piano and sing and started doing more and more music. So the '80s. Um, I love Billy Joel. Billy John. Love Barry Manilow. I got it. I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I love. I love ballads. I love good ballads. I tell you, when I go to sometimes, sticks. Babe, I'm leaving. I must be on my way. The time is drawing near. Oh my gosh, I love that. Um, so, what's yours? Um, I'm not sure. I've never done karaoke. <gasps> you must. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. Yes, sweetie. Can we do the coffee line from Oren? Can we do the coffee line from Oren? <laughs> you and I can because you are the perfect package right here. You got Tomiki's bear, you got a Vampire Night t-shirt, and when you raised your hand, she did the Vulcan <laughs> hand raise. You gonna, you gonna do it with me? Yeah. Okay, what is your name? Can somebody record it? Please. Oh, I think, some, I think plenty of people are recording. <laughs> now, what is your name? Cassandra. Cassandra, do you know your lines? That's the most important thing. Okay, turn around and face your camera there. You ready? Are you recording? You ready? I'm afraid that if I drink this, my father will yell at me. What if I let you drink it? <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, sure. Uh, do you honestly play World of Warcraft? And if so, are you a mage? <laughs> honestly, no. I've never played World of Warcraft. I made the commercial for fun. Somebody told me that William Shatner made a commercial for a while, and I'm like, well, if Shatner can do it, I'm doing it. So I made the commercial, and uh, I am desperately wanting to get into World of Warcraft. I mean, wanting to, to do a voice. And every once in a while, I'll get an audition for a World of Warcraft character, but I haven't got cast yet. So I'm just kind of keeping my fingers crossed that I'll get to. So no, I, I'm, I'm afraid to say I haven't. Yes, oh horned one. <laughs> Do I know what, what style is? Gondol? No, I don't have any idea. Does that make me a bad person? Y'all turned on me. Oh my gosh. What? 
Oh my gosh, don't say that. That's horrible. Uh, what is it? Tell me about it. Come up here. Come here. <laughs> What's your name? Hello, Amber. Spin around. Everybody say hi to Amber. Hi! Okay, tell us what this is. Okay, so there's this guy named Sai, and he did a song that's called Gangnam Style, and he has this dance to it, doesn't it? Spell it for me. Gangnam? Gangnam. Gangnam. Oh, Gangnam. G-O-N-G? N-A-M. Gangnam. Sounds like eating something, like <laughs> Will you do it for us? I honestly have no idea. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, she was. Okay, get up here, oh horned partner. What's your name? How many trolls does it take? To Taylor, give it up for Taylor. Okay, we're gonna help Taylor, right? Because she's gonna do it. Okay, ready? Go for it. Okay, I'm sorry. That's what we call riding a horse now. Oh, wait, wait a minute, here's more. Is that part of it too? Yes. What about the guy in the elevator? Watch the camera behind you, sweetie. Watch out, behind you. <laughs> this is the best panel ever. I'll just stand here and let people come up here and dance. You guys are awesome. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> now somebody's gonna... Next question, you watch, next question. Do you know how to do the Frisciuni dance? I'm like, what is that? Give me some other dance over there. Yes? Oh, okay. Do you follow Fandom Fest? Fandom Fest? Oh, you're kidding. No. No, it's announced. Bill is going to come yes. to Fandom Fest. Yes. I've got to be there. <laughs> Give me that. Let me see. <laughs> Bill Shatner, how could you come without me? I love you. Look at that. Wow. Come to Fandom Fest 2013 in Louisville, Kentucky, July. Oh, next July. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I want to ask you guys a question. If, I want to see if you'll make me a deal. My event manager is Bill's event manager. Oh! I'm actually, I have become friends with Bill. And he doesn't even know that I like Star Trek. <laughs> How cool is that? How controlled do I have to be to stand there, sit at dinner talking with Bill Shatner? And not mention Star Trek. I've never said the word Star Trek in his presence. Because then he would be like, get him out of here. Man. But, um, but my event manager is, is Bill's event manager. And I will call him and I will ask him to see if he can book me into this event. But here's what has to happen. You guys need to come. Okay. Because that's, listen, the convention organizers, they make those decisions on one basis only. Is this somebody who's going to bring people to our convention? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. What? To an Ed Rant? Yeah. Now? Yes. Yes. Well, you know, you're a little, you're, you're not quite so tall yourself. 